Stop number 30 on the Cashel GDX Cup Series brings us to Kansas Speedway and the running of the Camping World RV 400. <clears throat> on the pole, the defending champion is on the pole. It's Jasmine Acosta, car number 6. Alongside of her is another female, Red Bell, on the number 11 Budweiser Ford. Row 2 is Je Justin Acosta in the 9 and the 99 of West Riddle. A lot of 9s in that row. Row 3 has Eric Matthews in the 22 and the 23 of Alex Tanker. Row 4 has the 75 car of Sasha Dawson and the 31 of Dougie Shears. Row 5 has the 7 of John Acosta and the 43 of Dominic Jarvis, our Talladega winner in the Amp Energy 500. Row 6, Mike Becker and Morgan Carpenter. Row 7, Dylan Poteet and Dalton Day. Row 8, Aaron Williams and <coughs> Justin Perry. And row 9, Jeremy Dibby and Alexandra Jones. Pace car about to duck off pit road. 27 laps around this racetrack around the, around the Wheat State. Kansas Speedway and the green flag waves. And here we go and we're underway. They go into turn one side by side. Jasmine Acosta jumps out in front. Justin Perry trying to sneak his nose of, the, of his Ford on the inside of Jasmine. Falls back in line. A couple of beer sponsored cars. Jasmine and the Stro Light car and the Coors Light car. And Justin or Justin Acosta, a pair of cars out of Team Acosta side by side. And it's going to be Jasmine, I believe. Yes, Jasmine Acosta leads the first lap. But here comes Justin to the inside. Justin Acosta brings the number nine Coors Light Silver Bullet to the front. But not for long, because here comes Eric Matthews, car 22, with the help of Sasha Dawson, or did have the help of Sasha Dawson in the 75. Nope, Sasha goes back and falls back in line on Justin, or on Eric Matthews, excuse me. And Eric Matthews will lead lap number two. But look at Sasha trying to make her move to the inside. Nothing doing. Eric Matthews continues to hold the front, but Sasha comes out like a shot out of a cannon. And here comes Sasha Dawson to the inside. And Mike Becker, he's making his way up to the making his presence felt in the top five. And so is Dylan Poteet in the 94 car. And Sasha Dawson to the number one spot. But Eric Matthews hanging tough on the outside. Sasha leads that lap. She's yet to win in the Castro GTX Cup Series. She's come close a couple times, but has yet to close the deal. But now Aaron Williams and Jeremy Duby make, begin to make their way up to the field. Back here is Jeremy in the 26 Quaker State Ford with the help of Robbie Hardy in the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet. Move the Michigan winner, Jeremy Doobie, up in the second position. The man who won a hell of a good sour cream dips 400. The first Michigan race this season. Robbie Hardy in the 24 car is yet to win this season. Even though that car was the championship car in season three with Ashley Sears behind the wheel. Robbie Hardy has not had any luck this season with that car. But right now they are chasing Sasha, Sasha Dawson. Car 75, the Valvoline 4, or P Valvoline Pontic, excuse me. Paint scheme dates back to 1987. Sasha Leeds, but look at Jeremy Doobie closing right in on the 26 car. Robbie Hardy in the 24 car. Trying to, trying to help Jeremy up to the front. Jeremy dives to the inside. Nope, Sasha throws the block. Six down in the books. Just an explosive start to this race at Kansas Speedway. And look at Robbie Hardy. They're going to go three wide. Whoa! I thought for a minute Robbie Hardy was going to sideswipe Sasha, Sasha Dawson and have her crash. That was close. Not, not to be outdone, she loses second to Lisa Shears in a 27 Castle GTX Chevrolet. And Mike Doobie in his Ford, car number 15, to, moves into third position. Alex Tanker taking fourth away. Sasha dropping like a rock. 
And now Eric Matthews moves in the top five as Lisa Shears goes by for the number one spot and she's got the lead. But look at Mike Doobie, he's trying to spoil that party now, car 15. And boy, what racing we're having here at Kansas so, so far. Several number of lead changes right now in the first eight laps of this race. And look at Mike Doobie sticking the nose of his number 15 Motorcraft Ford to the inside. And he's got the number one spot now by a half a car on Lisa Shears. In fact, he's going to get the number one spot into turn three. Mike Doobie out front, part of the Batson Doobie team. Who has, who's had three of their cars visit, or has had four of their cars visit Victory Lane. Mike Doobie's the only one who has not won out of the Batson Doobie bunch. He hopes he'll change that today, or some in Kansas, or sometime during the rest of the season, of which after this race there'll be six lap races remaining. We are under caution, apparently. Yep, we are. And just as I talk about the Batson Doobie team, Russ Batson. Hard crash for the number 88 Quality Care Ford. Smoking very, very bad. Let's see what happened to Mike Doobie, or, or Russ Batson, excuse me. Him, He's on the outside of his brother, Keith, and in the inside of Dylan Poteet in the 94. Well, don't tell me Dylan Petit is in another crash, boy. Let's see what happened there. Uh huh. Russ Batson got turned by his brother Keith. A little family fight, maybe uh, in order here. And Dylan Pote was bulldozing him. I don't think there's any big damage out of Dylan's car. But certainly Russ Batson's car is definitely out of the race for sure. Now yeah, Dylan's got some damage on his car. He's got the uh, a crease in the, on the driver's side of the, on the he's got a crease on the passenger side of his number 94 Sunoco Chevrolet. And in fact, he's on pit road, so he may be out of his race. Boy, poor Dylan Pote, what a horrible year he's had thus far. After a fourth place finish in a points chase a year a season ago, he had high hopes for taking his second championship in the Cashless Jacks Cup Series, but unfortunately that's not going to play in the factor here this season. Mike Doobie has the lead with Lisa Shears running in second. Dougie Shears, Lisa's si uh, big brother, runs in third position. Sasha Dawson fourth. Johnny Gardner up to the fifth position. Ryan Acosta, Ryan Cooper, Eric Matthews, Robbie Hardy, and Alexander Dawson, the top ten in this race. Pace car about to duck off on the pit road, and we're about to go back to green flag racing. It'll be lap number fifth. It'll be 14 in the books and 13 remaining as we're past the halfway point of the Camping World RV 400. Mike Doobie out front, but Lisa Shear's got a better start in the number 27. And she dives in the inside. She's going to waste no time. And Lisa Shears has a half a car length on Rust on Mike Doobie. And Lisa takes the green, and red, white, and green, and black 27 out in front. And another female trying to follow, Sasha Dawson in the 75 car, trying to get around Mike for the number two position as Lisa Shears pulls away ahead. A little battle right there um, going on. And look at that, Mike Flanagan almost made it four wide right there on Justin Perry, Robbie Hardy, and Randy Carpenter. Right now it's ladies one and two. 
It won't be for long though because here comes Johnny Gardner to the inside number 20. Whoa, Johnny! Radham Cowboy, he, he about got loose coming out of turn. He got loose out of turn two, still passes Sasha Dawson, but I thought he was going to take Sasha out. That's twice now. Sasha Dawson has almost been wrecked. And wasn't. But nevertheless, Johnny Gardner in the, number, in the green and white 33 out in front, or out in second position now, I should say, chasing Lisa Shears. Ten laps to go here at Kansas, but Johnny Gardner is wanting more. He's got number two. He wants number one. All over the back bumper he is, and Eric Matthews, he's, get, he's closing in on a 22 car to Maxwell House Ford. Three cars running nose to tail here. Nine laps to go. Eric Matthews dives on the inside, but look at Johnny Gardner. He gets a little side rest off Lisa Shears, and Johnny Gardner now goes to the number one spot. Eric Matthews trying to get around for second position, and he does so, but Eric sticks, is still sticking on the inside of the racetrack. <clears throat> trying to find some speed on the number 22 Maxwell House Ford. And look at this gaggle of cars, about five, maybe six cars in a pack. And this may be a five or six car battle for the win like we had in last season's Camping World RV 400. Remember that one with Ashley Sears and Jasmine Acosta side by side coming to the finish line and Ashley winning by about a bumper length of the finish. We may have the same finish today. But if we know Johnny Gardner, he'll make that car as wide as he can. But Eric Matthews says, I'm going to deny this win away from you, Johnny. So car Jacob Rodriguez, he's way off the pace. And Eric Matthews takes the number 22 Maxwell House forward to the number one spot. Johnny Gardner hanging tight on the outside now. Dougie Shears trying to figure out who he's going to go with. He's going to go with Eric. Because Dougie Shears wants the inside line. And here comes Super Shears out in front now. Dougie Shears with the help of Sasha Dawson. But Dougie's not going to stay out in front for long as Sasha's going to try to make a move to the inside for the number one spot. Dougie says no. Sasha says, well, I don't know what Sasha was saying right now. Anyway, five laps to go. Dougie Shears now out in front. Sasha Dawson trying to win her first ever Cash Logic Dance Cup Series event. Seven ladies have won in this series. Sasha trying to become the eighth. Sasha dives to the inside, sticks the nose in the inside. Ducks back in behind Dougie Shears. Four to go. Lisa Shears out, and now in second, now in third position. She would love to make it a sibling sweep. But look at Sasha. Sasha Dawson to the number one spot now. But Lisa Shears trying the inside lane. She hopes to take number one back, and she does it on this time around. <coughs> Three laps to go here at Kansas. This is going to be one whale of a battle for the win. I could just feel it. Lisa Shears all over the back bumper. A pair of motor oil companies. Lisa Shears for Castrol GTX. Sasha Dawson for Valvoline. And now we got trouble possibly on turn number two. So number four, this could be a race back to the line for the win. And the race back to the line was won by Sasha Dawson. Let's see what the caution was. Oh, Josh Osborne in car 52. Horrible damage to the Alka-Seltzer Pontiac. I don't know what happened to the season two champion to our Season 2 Casual GTX Cup Series Champion. Josh Osborne's having a hard season thus far. Oh, Mike Becker. Oh, crap. 
Mike Becker's got nothing good to say about his season right now. I guarantee it. Oh, good Lord. He was four wide. Him in a 42. Alex Filter in the 83. Alexander Dawson in a 2. And Eric Matthews in a 22. Eric Matthews is dropping back a little bit. Let's see what happened. Uh-huh. Mike Becker got blatantly turned by Alex, by Alex Filter. Oh, and then he gets nailed by Earl Jarvis. Oh, my goodness. Mike Becker on his roof. Up and over. Number 42. Mike Becker snake bit again this season. Earl Jarvis was in it. Josh Osborne. Let's go on board with Mike Becker. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. This is not going to be a pretty ride. And I'd say Mike Becker's got words for Alex Filter, no doubt. Now the question really was, who won the race back to the line? And we're not going to get this race. I don't believe we're going to get this race underway. In fact, the race is already over. And say hello to your eighth female to ever win the Casual GTX Cup Series. Sasha Dawson wins the Camping World RV 400. There's a look at Sasha's car. Car 75. Takes to win. I tell you, that race would have gone green under the rest of the way. That would have been a whale of a battle down, down the line. Average speed, 135.753. Sasha Dawson, your eighth female to ever win in the Casual GTX Cup Series. She wins today. Lisa Shears finishes second. Alex Tanker, third. Justin Perry, fourth. Fifth to Michael Dawson. Sixth, Dougie Shears. Seventh, Johnny Gardner. Eighth, John Dawson. Where did he come from? The Acostas, John in 9th, Ryan in 10th, then Eric Matthews, Alexander Dawson, Alex Filter, Ann Batson 14th, uh, and Dominic Jarvis finished 15th in this race. And there's the rest of the run, runners right there. Keith Batson 23rd, something went wrong with his car, definitely. Jasmine Acosta 28th, not a good day for her. And the attrition list down the lot and down on down the attrition list. Dylan Pote, 36. He's definitely gonna forget his season, no doubt. Um there the, the attrition list, Josh Osborne with an ignition problem, 38th. Then Mike Becker, Earl Jarvis, and Russ Batson, both out of the race with crashes. And well, whatever. But Sasha Dawson, car 75. Her first ever Castle GTX Cup Series victory. So she now adds that to her list of victory series she's won in. So congratulations to Miss Sasha Dawson. Uh, here in number with six races left on the season. Morgan Carpenter still with the points. Laid by 60 points over Lisa Shears. Jasmine Acosta third in the points right now. Fourth, Jacob Rodriguez. Fifth is Ryan Acosta, 6th, Russ Batson, 7th, Eric Matthews, 8th, Aaron Williams, 9th, Alexandra Jones, and Red Bell is 10th in the points. But we've got a battle going on for the 10th position right now. In fact, the, for 9th on down to about... Good grief. Almost 100 points separate 9th on down to the 20th in the points. So, just anybody can finish in the top... 10 in the points, pretty much. West Riddle in 20th position right now in the points. Matthew Rodriguez 21st. As we check the rest of the order in the points right now. Let's see right on down to Randy Carpenter dead last in the points so far. And boy, poor Ann Batson 37th. 
Dalton Day, 34. Dylan Pote, 31st. Keith Batson, 29th. Just not good years. Mike Becker, 25th. Don't know what they're going to do for the Season 5, no doubt. Uh, a lot of testing, I suppose. <laughs> Next season on the tour will be at Lowe's Motor Speed. What? Or Charlotte Motor Speed, I should say, excuse me, for the NASCAR Race Hub 500.